Hi everybody, welcome back to the Le Petit Saint Crochet blog. I'm Elise and that's little Penelope Pig over there. And today we are going to talk all about how to become a certified crochet instructor through the Craft Yarn Council. We're going to first talk about why and the benefits of becoming an instructor. Number two, the program requirements. Three, the cost, and number four, all the materials that you are going to need. But first, if you wouldn't mind hitting that little like button and that subscribe button right there, that would be awesome. If you would leave me a comment also whether or not you are familiar with this program or not, you can just write yes or no, and that would really help me out. And let's go ahead and get right into it. One of the obvious benefits to having your certification through the Craft Yarn Council is that you will have the skills necessary to be able to teach crochet classes. So say you want to teach at a local craft shop or a local yarn store, having that certification proves to them that you, number one, have the crochet skills in order to be able to teach that class, but also you also are able to create lesson plans and you know how to teach a larger group of students or even individually. So that gives you a lot of confidence to be able to go in there and say, hey, I know what I'm talking about because I've taken this course and I can do this. One of the other benefits to becoming a certified crochet instructor is that you will gain the confidence to know that when you are crocheting items that you are doing it correctly. So say for example, you have no intentions of teaching. That's really not what you want to do. I still think that it's a good idea to get this certification because if you, for example, are making items as gifts or maybe you sell them at markets or you have an Etsy shop or something like that, that you want to know that the things that you are making are done correctly. So a lot of us learn how to crochet through YouTube or maybe your grandma taught you or you've just kind of picked it up here and there. Sometimes we learn things the incorrect way. Now that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes doing things incorrectly is just fine. It doesn't make any difference. But I was surprised to learn that I was actually not doing one thing correctly and once I learned the correct way, it really was a better way to do it. Number one, it saved me time. And number two, it honestly looked better and it was a more solid technique. So I would really encourage you, even if you have no intentions, of teaching, look into this. This could be something that could benefit you in other ways. The final benefit to becoming a certified crochet instructor is just purely bragging rights. So you're gonna get this beautiful certificate with your name on it, and you also get a pin from the Craft Yarn Council that you can wear if you go somewhere, if you are at a yarn crawl, or you are taking classes, or you are teaching a class. You have got this fancy little pin that says, hey now, I'm somebody special. I am a certified crochet instructor. So that's actually kind of fun. There are actually four different programs that you can enroll through the Craft Yarn Council for your instructor program. There are two for crochet and two for knitting and they're like a phase one and a phase two. I completed the Certified Crochet Instructors Program, which is the phase one. So now I am eligible to go on to the phase two if I wanted to. So what you're gonna receive when you actually enroll in the program is you're going to receive your Crochet Techniques Program and you're going to receive your Teacher Handbook Program. All of this is going to give you all of the information that you need to be able to complete your assignments, how you need to submit them, when it's due, all of those things will be in your guides right here. The program is actually broken up into two separate phases. The first is the crochet techniques. This was the part that I really had a lot of fun with. This is where you actually make your samples and then you are going to put them in little sleeves and you're going to label them. This is going to then be sent off to a master teacher who is going to evaluate all of your work and at the end is actually going to have a phone call with you to go over everything. And that's when they will let you know if you have passed or not or if you needed to redo anything. So so I actually had a lot of fun with this part. I loved making all of my samples and labeling them and doing all of that. I learned a lot and it just really helped me. And I will tell you that when I did my crochet ripple here, this was the one that she had some issues with because what I did was, and don't do this, I actually, when I did this, I stretched this out so far when I blocked it because 
I thought that it was more important to get the exact measurements than it was um, for it to be a little more relaxed. And so my master teacher was really confused, like, um, what did you do to that ripple stitch sample? So we actually had a really good laugh over that. But this was actually the really fun part for me was getting to learn all these different things. At that point, I had never done like the ripple stitch and some of these other things before. And it was really fun to learn how to do them and get to show off that I knew what I was good at and what I wasn't good at. And I will tell you one thing that I really learned is that I am real good at weaving in my ends, but um, I was not good at doing this <laughs> ripple stitch and stretching it out to, um, you know, not a very good shape here. So once you have completed your crochet technique samples, you're going to move on to the teaching phase. So that's gonna be a combination of two different things. You're actually going to need to do 15 hours of student teaching, and you are also going to have to create lesson plans. You're gonna write a little paragraph about your crochet journey, and you're going to actually write a little paragraph about Gage so that they know that you know what you're talking about here. So for the 15 hours of student teaching, that can be either in a formal setting or it can be in an informal setting. So don't let let that panic you. I did a combination of both. I taught two classes at a local yarn shop. I taught a crochet 101 class, basically brand new people. I taught them how to crochet and I actually used the lesson plans that I created through this program to teach the class. So that was actually really beneficial. It was a three part class. So they came three separate dates to be able to learn how to crochet. I also taught a beginner amigurumi class and that was for people who already knew how to crochet but they wanted to learn how to make amigurumi and that was a really, really fun class. Those classes did not have a tremendous number of students. Um, the 101 class did have eight students and then the amigurumi, beginner amigurumi class had like two students. But I also just taught informally. I taught people like my mom, I taught her how to do something. I showed my husband how to do something. And those were things that counted towards my 15 hours of student teaching. Now, your lesson plans are going to need to be written all out. You're gonna to need to type them all out. They're going to actually go in your binder as well that you're going to send off to your master teacher. That's one of the things that they're going to be evaluating is that you can come up with a lesson plan. So to be honest, that stressed me out a little bit, but once I actually got everything done and I had it listed, it was fine. And the way the instructor's manual walks you through how to do that is wonderful. Now, the other resource that you're going to have available to you that you really, really, really want to utilize, if you can, is a Facebook group. It's a Facebook group that is specifically for those enrolled in the Certified Instructor Program through the Craft Yarn Council. So it's only for those people. So people are asking questions, you can get advice, you can celebrate with other people when they get their certificate. So it's a really, really great place to not feel alone and you can get some of those questions answered right away. But your master teacher is also always going to be available to answer your questions. So anytime you're like, wait, I wasn't sure about the deadline or do I need to do this to submit this? What do I need to do for these things? You can always email that instructor, but the Facebook group is kind of going to be a little more immediate and you will also get other students and their instructors on there and it's a really, really great resource. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about how much is this going to cost you. So at the time that I enrolled and as of when I am posting this, it is $85 to enroll in the level one course. So you are also going to need a few materials. So I'm gonna say all in all, when you pay for the course, you pay to ship your binder to your master teacher and you get all of your supplies, you're gonna be in probably somewhere around a hundred bucks total. So a lot of the materials that you're going to need, you're already going to have on hand and we're gonna talk about that next. So there are going to be a few things that you're going to need to be able to complete the course. So for example, obviously you're going to need some yarn and you're going to need crochet hooks, right? You probably already have these on hand, so that's good. You're also going to need two three ring binders, one for your actual manuals because you're going to need to refer to these for all of your assignments. You're also going to need another one for all of your samples because this is what you're actually going to send to your master teacher. 
Now, you also are going to need these plastic sleeves and I have links to everything that I used in the blog post. So if you're on YouTube, just head to the description box below and click on that link and you will find everything listed there. The other thing that is really important that you're going to need are uh, blocking mats. So I really like this one. It's called Hephaestus Crafts and these are blocking mats and it comes with 150 of their rust proof little pins and these are really really good because you do not want your pins to rust at all because that will not come out of your yarn and your samples that you have made so no rusting you don't want that so the other thing that I really like about these mats is that these are one inch squares so that makes being able to measure because you're going to have to measure those samples they have to be a particular measurement it's gonna say something like you need to make a five inch square of single crochet and it has to be five so the wonderful thing is that you just count one two three four five and you know exactly what size it needs to be so I really recommend these um, but there's not a whole lot that you're going to need to complete the course and some of this you may already have at home. Thank you so very much for stopping by the Le Petit Saint Crochet blog. I'm Elise and just remember all of those links are going to be in the description box below. It'll take you right to the blog post and then you can find everything that you need to the Craft Yarn Council to any of the supplies. So thank you so much for being here please hit that like button and that subscribe button it would mean the world to me and just know that i believe in you i know you can do this this is a really fun program and you will feel so much accomplishment when you get it done see you next week bye